What's up, I'm NJ. And I'm a G. And you're watching Stax TV. So who's got to go? Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Travis Gambino, or Jake Cole? <laughs> Why is Jake Cole on that list? <laughs> <laughs> um, Gambino got to go. Who? Gambino. Travis Gambino got to go. One of those to have never existed? Mm. Gambino got to go. Uh, Gambino is my favorite, so I won't say that. Um, I'd have to say... Drake. Bruh. <sighs> Drizzy. Six going. Hotline Blank has just been in my head all week, so... And I hate him for that, so... That's a good jam, <laughs> though. That's, that's a good thing. Oh, true, man. True, true. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you're in a take team wrestling match. Celebrity take team wrestling match. Who's your partner and who are your opponents? Can you go first? Okay, um, my partner is... Uh, uh, Michael Douglas, the actor, uh, just because he's a badass. Um, I just, I, I would love to see him just like dropping bows on guys. Um, my opponents um, are Celine Dion and uh, Snoop Dogg, just because they're both kind of skinny and small, and I think that we would we'd be able to wreck them pretty easily. I think Snoop moves too slow to put up like a, like a good fight, so I, I think that'd be just an easy cut on match. Uh -huh. I think my uh, partner would have to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh. Only because he could probably just destroy everyone. Because I'm not the toughest guy, but I can use my words pretty well. <laughs> so, um, my opponents? Probably NJ. Nice. Seems like a, an easy target. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just... <laughs> Do I get a partner? Who's my partner? Oh, your partner? girlfriend oh man okay sorry bro i would love to have that fight for real i would love to <laughs> take on you in the rock that'd be great okay so non-rapper celebrity rap battle who you choose to to rap against to rap against each other a celebrity or two celebrities to rap against each other who aren't rappers barack obama and caitlin jenner mm -hmm. Yeah, did you say that? <laughs> Barack Obama, Caitlyn Jenner. I was trying to picture that in my head. Oh. That'd be slick. Wow, I don't know. I, I might have to pass on that question. I might have to come, oh. back, to it. I might have to come back to it. Oh, okay. So this is a tough one now. The better take team, Jay-Z and Kanye or Eminem and Dr. Dre? And what's the question? The Who's better take team musically. Who's the better take team? I guess the better team. Okay, and the options were again. Uh, Jay-Z and Kanye, or Eminem and Dre? Fuck. <laughs> That's like the hardest question uh, I've ever been asked. Uh, oh, man, I gotta go with Jay and Kanye. Yeah, I think I'd have to do that. I gotta, like, not even just off of the stuff that they've done together, but, like, their solo careers are just so outstanding, and, like, as much as I love, I mean, like, Dre made the chronic, so as hard as this is for me, I, I, I gotta go Jay-Z Jay and, uh, and Kanye. Uh, probably gonna go with the same thing, just because I want to hear some more new stuff from Kanye and see what he would do with uh, with Jay Z and his sound. Be kind of interesting. Ooh. Best ass: Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, J Lo, and Nicki Minaj. You gotta go with my my girl Kim K on this one. Ah, uh, Nicki Minaj, it's just because she's got attitude. Attitude and ass is good together. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't know what he said, J Lo. We don't fuck with J-Lo no more. <laughs> oh, man. So, one artist that you want to make a collaboration album with? Phil Collins. That'd be cool as fuck. Hmm. Um, I would have to... Doesn't have to be rap, right? Anybody? Yeah. Hmm. Phil Collins. Michael Jackson. Oh! 100%. I didn't know they were allowed to be dead. Okay. All right. <laughs> True. No, that's crazy, man. No. I want to hear both of those albums, like right now. Yeah. It'd be crazy. You kind of going in with that, too. Your favorite non rap musical act? Linkin Park. Non rap musical act. I have to go Michael Jackson again. Linkin Park has rap in it, though. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. 
We consider an alternative. Yeah, like that, so. yeah, okay, cool. I'll go with the part. Who would you choose to play yourself in a movie about you? Shia LaBeouf. Everybody says he looks like like I look like him and like I remind them of him and he's like so crazy right now. Like he's <laughs> like he's an actual lunatic. So I think he's another level. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I think he'd be hilarious. And we all know like he has rap skills. Like we saw that freestyle video and he was killing it. So yeah, I'd love to see that. I was gonna say Crab Man just because you know from my name is Earl. Really? Yeah, just because he looks like me, or I look like him, or whatever. So same idea, but uh -huh. yeah. God, oh, I man. can see it. He's funny. I can see it. That'd be great. <laughs> I want to see both of those movies. Or the Boondocks. That's a cartoon. You'd make it. You'd make it a cartoon. Yeah. I can see that. I think a movie about you would have to be a cartoon. You You're so animated. Hundred percent. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, another tough one. Oh. Top five rappers, dead or alive. Uh, do they have to be in order? No. Okay. Um, uh, Biggie, Ghostface, Killa, Royce the Five Nine, uh, Jay Z, and um, Dr. Dre. Uh. I would have to say Childish Gambino, mm. J. Cole, Odyssey, um, I'm just really starting to like Kanye, so I'm going to say Kanye, mm. and can I do someone old school? Biggie or Tupac? Yeah. I listen to a lot of Biggie, and I know a lot of Biggie. Biggie? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Notorious. One of my rap name used to be Odyssey until I discovered that Odyssey really? was actually a really good rapper. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I Taken. used to feel by Odyssey back, <laughs> like way back in the day. Yeah. So, so I think you kind of just already answered this question, but who would you prefer? Tupac or Biggie? Biggie. 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 It's all the way. Big Papa. And finally, describe yourself in three words. In three words. Separate words or any other thing? Separate. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Same word. <laughs> um, uh, three words. Uh, um, I'm going to go with uh, loud. Um, I'll go with uh, motivated or determined. That's actually a better word. And um, uh, ignorant. I'm very ignorant about a lot of things, and I'm okay with that. I, 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 there's a lot of shit that I just don't know that I love to act like I know. So, but uh, shit, I don't know. That's hard. Um, three words to describe me: uh, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I would say. Uh, Oh, yeah, we can just keep that. That's all that can answer. Fuck it, let's ride with it. All right, cool. So, NJ, tell us about your latest album there. Uh, it's called Grenades in a Glass House. It's my second album. Uh, it feels like my first album. Like it, feel, like, it feels like a whole new ball game. It feels like, you know, recording it and just the process that we went through to do it. You know, it feels like a whole new, a whole new thing. Um, I really tried to, like, round out my own sound with this album and... You know, like I've showed it to quite a few people, other artists that I've worked with, whatever. And, and I think that's kind of like what I'm hearing, you know, from most people is that it just has like a, its own concise sound. Like all the songs kind of sound similar and, and together and, and, and compact, you know, and like they're supposed to be on the same album. Um, you know, uh, I had a lot of awesome guests, you know, to work on the album. I had uh, Data Banks, uh, Kwame Dolo, Charlie B, K Niggs, uh, Shailen Patey, Achi. Uh, SJ Kardash, you know, like the, I, I had a, a big, nice, you know, crew of people to help me work on this album. Um, you know, I, I made all the beats with uh, the homie Thomas, um, you know, so we just, you know, it, it just came from um, me wanting to, to separate myself from my last project and separate myself from other artists who, who are, are, are just making like regular rap songs. And I, I thought, you know, 
maybe like let's throw a guitar solo and a rap song because nobody in this city does that you know like oh, i just wanted to do things that you know people haven't, haven't really done before so yeah. i don't know what you want yeah the uh i first heard the album he showed me to it uh, he showed me it in the car driving to our that shoot that we did for infinity um and i was just listening to it in the car and it was the first time i heard it and yeah just a consistency throughout it all um his sound too is very unique it's very uh it's still like when i first heard nj's the first album or the first thing he put out there you could still hear that nj sound so i just love that he has his own sound and yeah just the consist- consistency of it all um uh, and the originality of it um mm-hmm. the live instruments like the the guitar solos and um stuff like that so yeah just it's gonna be sick and i mean i mean and that's what we went for right like that's kind of like what we set out to do and the fact that we're having people tell us like hey this is what it sounds like without us telling them first that that's what we're trying to do it just it just reassures me and gives me the sense like hey we did what we we set out to do we did what we were supposed to do and i'm just really happy with it because of that you know like i i I honestly couldn't be happier with this project it's just you know i just got the the final the master version of it and uh just the whole thing is just like front to back. It's just, it, it's like a roller coaster. It's just ups and downs. And, and, you know, the, the guest artists really added a lot to it because you get, you get different perspectives from different people and you get different levels on, you know, you have somebody like Koenig, she's very aggressive. And then you have somebody like Achieve, who's very like more, more laid back and honest and personal. Um, somebody like Data Banks, who's kind of like on both of those lines at the same time on, on a separate song. So, um, you know, I, I was just lucky enough to have good people to work with it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and too, I like how you put those, those little snippets of just straight vocal. Mm. You know, it's not. Yeah, yeah, like, and that's what that's what I did with uh, Kwame Dolo and Charlie, right? Is I had them just do a cappella um, verses with no beat or anything. I love that. And they added like a little, a little bit more of a, of a hip hop essence to it, but at the same time, they added um, a little bit more personality to the album that wasn't there before, you mm-hmm. know? Um, uh, you know, Kwame is rapping about forty-four long nose and shotguns and stuff like that, and then and then Charlie is is very very poetic in uh, in the way he you know he's uh, talking about his mother and he's talking about prison and, and, and things like that, and, and and you know the whole thing just came together so so perfect like it was meant to be like I believe in the universe, man, and and, and honestly every single thing about this album, even right down to like the day we went to shoot the video. It was, it just happened to be sunny and bright and everything was perfect. We didn't run out of daytime. Yeah. Everything just felt like it was meant to happen. The next day, it's pouring rain and dark for like four days straight. So it's like, it just, that was like a message to me. Like we were meant to make that the day we made it. It was meant to look like that. You know, the songs were meant to sound the, the way they were, you know. And I, like, I ran into Mike um, when we were, he came to a show of mine. And like, that was like the first time we met. And then, you know, we ran into each other on a sidewalk and we were just oh, yeah. kind of, we were like freestyle <laughs> rapping in a circle just downtown. So and like, <laughs> yeah, man, somebody like one guy was like beatboxing and all the other, yeah. like the rest of us were like rapping. And like, that was like one of the most real experiences I've had, like just meeting somebody and immediately clicking on a musical level. Yeah. Like there was no, there was no prior conversation. There was no like, like pushing to, to, uh, to get that ground there. Like it was already just, I rap, you rap, uh, you're good, I'm good. And then it was just like that. And we just kind of like linked up. We talked for a bit on Facebook and then finally it came time to like start putting people on the album. And, you know, I was really interested to see what he could do. You know, I liked a lot of the music that he was putting out. So, and that's kind of why, like I felt, you know, I got to reach out to this guy. Like he's got to be a part of it. So, um, and I mean, uh, you know, from there, it just, you know, we kind of built, uh, a, a really good musical relationship and, and he, he like I said he did the video for Infinite um, with uh, him and, and Shailen Patey and, and the video turned out amazing and uh, I mean we're currently working on the video with uh, myself and Data Banks uh, with him as well um, as well as his uh, his film company sponsoring the, uh, the album release party so um, that's December 10th at the Thirsty Scholar here in Saskatoon it's uh, uh, Chief Films, Stax TV, Lifeline Music Group, I'm putting it on, and uh, it's gonna be crazy, man. We got we got us two performing as well as Data Banks, Kwame Dolo, uh, Barry Daniels, like I said, uh, Academic is is gonna be DJing the night. Um, it's it's just gonna be great, man. We're gonna have merch there. We're gonna have albums to give away to people. 
Uh, gonna be lots of drinks, lots of good times, lots of good memories to be made. Hopefully that night. You know, I just, I, you know, more than anything, more than putting on good shows or having people there, we, I just want to have a good night. You know, and, and I think you know that's kind of, kind of the goal. I don't know if you want to say anything about the about the release party, but. I think you said it all there. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a good time and, and, and that's the main thing, right? Like yeah. we, we just want to, we just want to have a good time. We want to have some good performances and we want to give people the chance to like, uh, the, you know, the chance to really, to really shine and in, in, in this opportunity to, for people to acquire new fans, for listeners to, to find new artists that they like, yeah. because, you know, we're going to have people coming to listen to one artist and there's four other artists performing and, you know, hopefully Ideally, I want people to come and like all five performers, and you know, want to want to listen to all five of our, our music because I mean, it like every single performer at that show is a performer who makes good music, you know. Um, otherwise, I, I wouldn't ask them to, to come out and perform. So, yeah, like I, I have so much you know respect for for Chi and, and everybody else who's going to be coming to perform. So I'm just really excited to see where it goes. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm just amped to some extent that the place is going. Yeah. I was actually ask you just a quick question about yeah. Chi Films. How did you get started? What's kind of your inspiration? And uh, just tell us a little bit more about the uh, company there. Um, so Chi Films kind of evolved from a lot of other previous freelance work that I've done. I'm from Ontario, so I've done freelance work there um, for a couple of years, um, working with humanitarian organizations, different uh, churches, websites, small businesses. And then when I came here and I started getting into the music, um, actually Saskatoon is what brought me to hip hop and actually made me start doing hip hop, which has been an awesome experience since it's been over just about a year now. But um, and I I really enjoy making music videos. I enjoy um, that creative part of putting a visual to something that's you know it's not just audio. It's it visually and they work so well together when you have such uh, well produced audio. And then a well-produced video, and it's just like it has to be amazing. So, um, starting doing my own music videos and stuff like that, I kind of just uh, decided to make it a, a branch off of a Chi. So, a Chi film, a Chi design, a Chi. You know, it's just kind of, it's it's kind of just evolved into what it is now, and and I enjoy it. I, I love doing it, and it's great. I too. just want to work with more artists. It, it's and great too. Like, great relationships through it too so it's all great quality stuff yeah you know like uh, everything on his on his youtube channel is just is fantastic all of his music videos are fantastic and that's kind of like and, and i was talking earlier about how everything happened organically that was another thing that happened really organically we were just in the studio you know making infinite and he mentioned that he did videos and like he he had just done a shoot with cane eggs and and with break dancers and all this kind of stuff that he was talking about and then i said you know how much you charge for video and he said well let's just hang out like, you know, like, we'll just hang out and, like, whatever happens, happens. And, like, it was just, it like, I, I can't stress enough. Like, that's just, it was just meant to be. Like, everything just played out exactly like it was supposed to. And now we have an amazing song on an amazing album with an amazing video to com to accompany it. You know, and we're going to be putting on hopefully an amazing release party. And, and, you know, like, I'm just I'm just really excited to see what the future holds for myself, for Chi, and, you know, for the city's hip-hop scene as a whole. Yeah. Oh, my God.